So a quick demonstration of how to work with the scientific Luigi workflow library built upon Spotify's Luigi workflow library. So let's get started. We're here in the examples folder of SciLuigi. We have some pre-existing examples, but let's create a new file. Example four, let's call it screencast for this occasion. Uh, and here, and there are three things we want to do. We want to create the workflow and we want to create two tasks and that we can connect together and then just some code to make this file into a runnable Python script. But even before we start that, let's import SciLuigi and alias it to SL just for brevity. And then let's create a few lines for the workflow just so we know my workflow and we do that by subclassing scientific luigi workflow task and here the only thing we need to override is the workflow method and it should return the last the last task in a chain of tasks here we will first init the tasks and we will connect the tasks into our workflow. Okay, so now we know the structure of the workflow. So now we can create the tasks and let's do something very simple. Let's do just one task that writes foo into a file. Let's call it foo writer and we subclass from scientific g task. Uh, and since it's all um, since it's only writing to a file, it doesn't need an import, only an outport. And outports in SciLuigi are defined as methods, starting with out underscore, and give a name. Let's call it foo. Yeah, self. Sorry, I'm typing sloppy here. Um, which should return a target info object. Um, which should keep a reference to the current task. So we use the self here and a path. And here we just want a static file name. Now we can go straight into defining the run method, which defines what the task does. And we can of course execute a shell command or just run some Python code. And in this case, just, just let us run some Python code. So what we'll do is that we will use this out port, which is a function that returns the target info object, which has an open method, which will be passed on to the file, file object that it keeps somewhere down, down the chain. And uh, let's name our file handle to out file. And with out file, let's write and a new line and now we create another task and let's call it foo to bar and let let it let's make it to replace foo with bar as simple as that and it will of course take an import since it needs to take the previous file and replace the content of it with something else and let's call it in foo. And imports in SciLogy are just uh, class fields set to none. They will be assigned with an output field later or with the content of an output field later. But uh, to start with, they're just plain fields. And we need an output as well. Let's call it out underscore bar. And again, it should return a target info object with a reference to ourself and a path. And here we want to reuse that previous file or the path of the previous file and just add a suffix so that it's kind of never clashes with anything else. Now we can go to 
implementing the run method. And here let's do uh, execute a shell task instead just for demonstration. And uh, shell tasks can be executed using a convenience method which is called x for execute. And we execute something. And let's use the sed command in Linux which uh, can do editing on lines of files and we use the substitute command which uh, takes yeah it starts with s and then some delimiter that should be the same through the pattern and then the search string which is foo and the replace string which is bar and then a modifier to tell that you, it should replace all the strings i think at least in in the file or in in each line and then sed takes an in file name and then we pipe it out to an alt file so here we use the curly this curly bracket syntax it's a it's a python's syntax for it can for yeah string interpolation and to fill in those those placeholders we use the format uh, function or method uh, and we say in file equals self dot in foo.path and out file equals self dot out bar path right so now uh, we can actually go and initiate these tasks so we start with the foo writer and this workflow task has actually most of the functionality we need here it has a method for creating a new task and linking it to the workflow object. It wants to have a name, a unique name for this instance. It wants the class of the task, which is foo writer, and we don't have any keyword arguments here. We don't take any parameters here. Um, and let's do the same for the for foo to bar. Uh, right, and now we can connect these two tasks into a mini workflow of just two tasks. And we do that by taking the second task, which is foo to bar, and taking the import and assigning to it the content of the upstream task's outport method. As simple as that. And now we return the last task in this chain, which is foo to bar. Right, and now uh, to make this into an executable Python file, we just need to do this canonical thing. Check if the name variable is main. Then we should execute scientific Luigi's run command, which is it will forward the execution to Luigi actually. Uh, right, so unless we have any typos or anything, this should be it. Uh, and here it just says that we haven't specified a task, so we need to type in my workflow here. And now, just to have it a bit more readable on the screen, let's pipe standard error where the logging is coming to. to Send it out and let's pipe so that we can pipe it and let's pipe it to less with capital S, which will make sure that we don't break or wrap the lines. Uh, okay, so we see we get some logging here when the tasks are started and finished, and which commands are executed, and all the file names are replaced with the real ones here. So let's see if we have any text files. And we have, and let's check the content of them. And as we expected, we have foo in the first one, and in the second one, uh, foo is replaced with bar. So that was the really first steps with Scientific Luigi, and hopefully, uh, we'll come out with more videos on more advanced topics later but but these are the really first steps thanks for watching